What is the key point to faith? Some people believe that the key point to faith is getting your prayers answered. That is not right. The key point to faith is believing in God no matter what happens. Let's say that you have a bad back and you are believing in God that he has healed your back even when your back is still in pain. Some people may say, well, if your back is still in pain, why are you believing in God that your back has been healed when obviously you are still in pain? You can't make earthly sense with things that are spiritual. You can't make earthly sense with things that are supernatural. Read the Bible right now. Does any of it make earthly sense? Most of it, no. It does not make earthly sense. To understand things of God, you have to, to understand things of God, you have to transition your way of thinking. I pray that makes sense there. Your faith should never, ever, ever, ever be dependent upon getting your prayers answered. Your faith should not be dependent upon getting your prayers answered. Your faith should not be dependent on getting your prayers answered. Kevin, why are you saying that over and over and over again? Because many people, their faith is dependent on getting their prayers answered. So when they don't, or when it seems like, their prayers are not getting answered, they lose their faith. Or they get discouraged and they slide back into sin. Listen, if your faith is dependent upon getting your prayers answered, you are going to be very, very weak in God. You are going to be a type of person where you do things of God and you slide back into sin. You do things of God and you slide right back into sin. You are going to be that lukewarm person. Listen. When you are trying to serve God, faith is major in obtaining a relationship with God. So if you can't get faith right, you won't get anything else right as well. When you get to the point where you are believing in God, no matter what evidence goes against what you are believing in God for, but you are still believing, no matter what happens, when you get to that point, you are unshakable. That is when major miracles can happen. But at the first sign, if you give up because it seems like your prayers are not being answered, if you are that way, you are weak. You are going to stay weak if you are that way or if you continue on in that way. We can't let what we see in those demonic thoughts that come to our mind to sway us. Even if your back is in pain and it has been hurting for 10, 20 years, you are still believing that God has healed your back even though your back is in pain. When you stay that way, my Lord, my Lord, 
That is faith. How do I know if a person, some people may say that, well, if God is not answering your prayer, your faith is weak. Not so. Not in every case. I believe I have told you all that God tests us, right? God tests us pretty much in every area of life. So isn't our faith in him a category that he can test? If he wants us to have stronger faith, what is he going to do? Test our faith. So why do you believe that he is going to test you in all these areas and skip the category of faith in testing you? He is going to test you in the area of faith. My Lord. So when it seems like your prayers are not being answered, hey, don't be swayed by that. Continue believing that he has answered your prayers even when you don't have evidence of seeing or touching or sensing it happening. That is faith. Blindly trusting in God is faith. If you have what you have prayed for, guess what? You don't need to use your faith because you have it. When you don't have it, that is when you need to use your faith. When you have it, you don't need to use your faith because you have it. When you don't have it, you have to use your faith because you don't have it. So the whole point of Using your faith is when you don't have what you are praying for. Man, my Lord, my Lord. Faith is an easy concept, but people give up so easily because they don't like to wait. They want to do things in their own way and they continue to fail with things of God. If you continue to fail in the area of faith, you are going to be a weak Christian or a Christian at all. If you can't get faith right, how can you be a Christian? My Lord, most things with God is dependent upon faith. So if your faith is weak or non-existent, how can you do anything? My Lord. So what is the key point to faith? I want you to say it. The key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered. The key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered. It is believing in God no matter what happens. Even if it seems like your prayers are not going to be answered, you are not swayed by that. You are continuing to believe in God no matter what. My Lord, when you get that way, not being swayed, how can God not, how can God not intervene in your life when you are trusting him no matter what? Oh, my Lord. That is what he wants. He wants you to trust him no matter what, even, even if all evidence is showing you that it is foolish to trust God, he wants you to trust in him even so. <sighs> My Lord, when you get to that point, I am telling you, you are going to reach heights in God that you thought that you never could. Faith, unconditional faith. Don't be like, well, if God answers my prayers, I am going to have faith. That is the only time. 
when you are that way, if you continue on that path, you are going to get nowhere in God. Nowhere quickly. So I pray that this makes sense. The key point to faith is not getting your prayers answered. So stop being swayed in your faith. Stop being shaken when it seems that God is not answering your prayers. Continue to believe in him even so. When you get that way and stay that way, you are going to be so powerful. I am telling you. I am telling you. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense here. God bless.